Okay, so I'm pretty sure the Master Chief Collection is just never going to die. Like, it's just going to be an ongoing thing that's just going to constantly be, keep on being amazing because this recent blog update by 343 really goes into some of the really cool stuff that they're talking about, about bringing into it. This is only part one of the cutting room floor, as in cut content from Halo being brought into the Master Chief Collection. They provided a bunch of awesome screenshots I'm gonna kinda go over with you guys here. And just kinda talk about like what this really does mean for Halo in general. Like we have a lot of really awesome stuff coming in for us guys. Like these are all the different types of Master Chief iterations that ha came in before like the actual retail release of Halo Combat Evolved. They're gonna be putting this into Master Chief Collection. Check out this room, by the way. This doesn't look very familiar either. Most of this is gonna be Combat Evolved related stuff because that's where it has the most progress into it. But they also work on Halo 2 as well. We have a little like tiny Warhawk. They call it a little piglet. <laughs> it's amazing. There's another vehicle right here for the Covenant right here. They see they kind of like I mess around with the shaders, try to get it just right when it comes to this. So it's a different kind of testing that they're doing with this, which is like so cool. This weapon right here is referred to as the Shovel Sniper. This is all the like Mac World Master Chiefs with the Needler minigun. That's quite interesting. And also I think it's in CE only two player co-op with online play. So like this is gonna be like four player online co-op. Will they helpfully fix up like the input lag that happens with online uh, matchmaking co-op stuff? Well, uh, we'll have to wait and see. This is like crazy looking like Magnum slash SMG kind of looking weapon. We have the like, gravity gun that was originally going to be in Halo back in the day as well. This crazy thing as well. This is like crazy looking like CE version of like what a wasp ended up looking at and playing out like, which is pretty cool. And knowing that that vehicle was like in the works of Halo since its iteration and it didn't come into like Halo 5 and then Halo Infinite. That's kind of cool to see like that stuff like kind of finally coming into fruition. There's that stealth tank we're talking about. This is like kind of a remnant from when Halo was originally going to be an RTS game and then ended up becoming a first person shooter. There's another crazy like two person vehicle. Like that's gonna be coming into the game as well. Just like, it's so cool seeing all this stuff. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention about this. The original elites are gonna be coming into the game as well for like modding content. Like these elites are from the Mac world reveal and some people really like these elites more than actually the original ones, which is kind of surprising. But like this kind of stuff is like, it's just like adding more to the sandbox for de developers and people who are part of like the modding community to really have a go at it. Like they're bringing some wildlife back into the game as well. Uh, like if you guys seen like these blind wolves where they brought in with the, which were originally were actually gonna be something you could ride on on top of that as well this were brought in with these spv3 mod uh but they never really made it to the full game but they're not gonna be full modding support when it comes to this content and also a bunch of uh multiplayer maps that just never saw the light of day these are gonna be coming into the game as well Again, like this is all through modding support, so they're gonna find ways to kind of improve that experience, uh, especially with the Steam Workshop they're gonna be bringing in with this. This is gonna be huge. They're gonna be able to drive vehicles. I love this screenshot right here. It's quite perfect. They're both like, oh, they're getting the YouTube thumbnail right here for the, uh, the Elite right there, which is perfect. <laughs> and then there's another picture of the Piglet and uh, just other kind of amazing stuff. They're also talking about like cut content for like campaign missions, I think they mentioned as well. And just like amazing stuff that's gonna be coming our way, guys. Now. When will we see this? They don't really have a time date when we will see this mine support come in, uh, but it's definitely gonna be huge for this game's longevity. Like I said, after Infinite comes out, it's all gonna be about modding support to keep the Master Chief Collection alive and people bringing people back. It's strictly the reason why I still have MCC installed on my PC is because the mine support is gonna be amazing once it finally gets there. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention this one really awesome thing they're looking to bring into the game is the Halo 2 E3 demo to be playable that's right, playable for you guys on there, which is going to be absolutely awesome. I remember we did see a live stream with Sketch. Uh, he did kind of bring in like an old Xbox that they found like in the freaking uh, closet or something like that. And he ended up playing like the E3 demo and stuff like that, which is really cool. I mean, this back, this like, people have been wanting this set forever because anything that we saw about Halo 2 back in the day, well, we never actually got in the game itself because, well, Halo 2's development was kind of a, uh, you know, a, a bit of a circus to say the least. Though 343 did state that this is gonna be coming around soon because they wouldn't be showing enough now if they didn't expect to have it be pretty close to being done or about ready to be shipped. So we could be seeing this come around very soon, guys. As soon as we get some actual information about with like a release date when we could see these mod tools come live, I'll definitely let you guys know. If definitely if this comes along with like Steam Workshop support, oh my God. 
it'd be so much easier to download these mods and so much easier to play this game. So I know a question you probably, a lot of you guys are asking out there, but is this coming to console? Because my support's always been on PC, but that line between PC and console is starting to blur a little bit. We have seen some games implement mods on console like Fallout 4 back in the day, but what about the Master Chief Collection? Are there mod content gonna be able to be available for you console players? Well, this is what 343 had to say about that. Basically saying that though we can't make any promises that it would be available on console. Uh, this is probably because of just the nature of mods themselves, right? Where they're kind of like user generated content. They can't be fully vetted, right? By an official 343 Microsoft kind of point of view. And so that's why like it could be really difficult for like there is potential for bad actors out there though they don't really happen at all a lot of these mods get vetted anyways by the uh, websites that they get posted on and by the community as well uh though it does seem like it'll probably have to be like some kind of official microsoft capacity to review mods to be able to have them on console microsoft's probably like oh we have to make a whole division of people to do like you know hire new people just to do vetting for this kind of stuff so a lot of logistics bureaucracy when it comes to stuff and usually mining support has always been traditionally for well pc but i hope soon enough my console brethren will be able to have a chance to play these awesome mods as well but if you're new to the channel miss any content for me recently check out this place right here i got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it and catch you all in the next one peace out